Hello Blends and Beyond folks. I have literally just finished colouring and filming the bear from Fluffiest Friends and I still have some stuff out so I thought I would come in live uh, which is what I wanted to do yesterday and colour in uh, the giraffe from the festive and fun. I'm just making sure that I am live in the group. Yes, I am. Excellent. I will leave that set up so I can see comments because I am streaming natively instead of using my program. So this week over on my regular um, Facebook page, uh, I am looking at the festive and fun stamp set all week. So I thought... I might come and color in. I'm going to color in this guy again, which I have colored in previously, and there is a video for it. But I thought I might come in and try on some colored cardstock. So this is just purely play session. If it works out, that's great. If it doesn't work out, it's practice. And I've had a little bit of uh, coloring therapy and enjoyment and downtime. Uh, you know, you get all the good feels when you color. So if it doesn't work out, no big deal. I've had a bit of a relaxing time. That's the way I figure it. So if you don't know me, my name is Elisa Tilsner. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia and I love to colour with my blends. So I thought I would open up this Blends and Beyond group so that we could all share our colouring together and I could come in and do um, a little bit of stuff like this. So I have, I've, I've stamped first because the colors in um, the designer series paper is a uh, lemon lime twist. I thought I would use lemon lime twist, but I've done a little bit of color swatching and we'll do that again together because I'm going to use the same colors and everything. And, but I thought I better do some color swatching first, just in case. So this is, whoops, and I've got a very fluffy end. So I'm thinking, I need to replace that tip. I do have uh, a video on that if you wish to watch. So hello if you are watching. So I was a little bit worried. My greens look okay on it. The only thing that probably won't look so great on the green is my daffodil. So switch my nibs around. So my yellow looks okay on it. That's the dark daffodil, but the light daffodil sort of gets a little bit swallowed up. So, and you can't really see it. So I'm a little bit unsure whether I wanted to do the green or not. I might come back at a later stage and have a play with it. I, I'm just playing today. I just want to see what it looks like. So then I thought, what about Lemon Lolly? Now, Lemon Lolly is not in the uh, color list for the Merry Bold and Bright paper, but crushed curry is and I could use this with crushed curry so I'm going to do a little bit of a color swatch over here so I'm pretty sure that my yellows will be fine um, the light one shows up not too bad and I'm pretty sure the green will probably be oh, I keep going to use that brush tip it's very sad so they will be fine so I might end up going I might end up playing with this one. Now, bearing in mind that this paper is a lot rougher than, um, than the basic white that we normally color on. But let's try something different. I reckon, I'm, I reckon these will be fine. I know my blue will be fine. So the, bearing in mind, I, can, I keep saying bearing in mind all the time. Colors will change a little bit because it's not white. But these are all holding up and they're all showing quite nicely. Let's try my light. I didn't use the light blue a whole lot, but we'll we'll put this one down. Yeah, that's holding up. I think I am going to play. Whoops. Get my nibs lids on. I think I'm going to play with this one. I think I'm going to choose yellow. I'm going to do yellow. Okay. I will put him out of the way. I may color him in later on just to see what he ends up like but I did good old Santa on uh, old Saint Nick on um, yeah I think I've shown you the, the card of it I think but I did him on crumb cake and he turned out pretty cool I quite liked the way he turned out so I thought let's try some other colors and see what they look like okay so let me zoom in so that we've got a better look for everyone okay and this is why going native in 
Facebook is good because I can actually zoom in. So I'm just going to color him exactly the same way that I colored this guy. So there's no, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I can just start with my daffodil. We'll do this guy here. So, and it's pretty quick. I'm not doing any underpainting or anything. I'm just going straight down and I'm coloring right over the top of those circles as well because his spots I should say not circles because I can just color straight over the top of them so it makes life a whole lot easier to do that okay a little bit on his arm a little bit under his neck there so hello if you are watching um, I think I can see comments if you are watching. If not, the replay is always available. And you can comment anytime later on. So I'm not even sure what time it is for a lot of people. I just thought, I've got a few minutes. Uh, I've started the upload of the, the video class to YouTube, but I tell you what, I filmed it and I've, I've not edited it. It's going straight in as is. And the file size is something like 17 gig. It was nearly an hour's worth of video just for the one image. So there's a whole lot of info in there. And, um, and so it's gonna take a little while and I'm, I was thinking, oh, I hope it's not gonna be glitchy to be on the Wi-Fi while that's being uploaded, but I think we're all good. Okay, I think that's all the Daffodil Delight that I did. So he's gonna have a completely different look, um, which I'm quite excited about. I'm gonna use my bullet tip and just gonna color in, and I'm not gonna do any fancy fiddling around with them. They're just going to be straight down because not all colouring needs to take an hour for one image. Sometimes we like to get things coloured pretty quick because we've got a card to make as well. Okay. And what else did I do with orange? I did the box down here. So I might as well do that now. And that end will be on the darker side. Come in with my light. So if you are just joining me, I am playing on coloured card instead of white. I thought let's be a little bit different. Let's just play and see what happens. Okay, I think that's all for that color. Now we'll come in with our Granny Apple Green and I will definitely be using my bullet tip because my brush tip is very, very sad at the moment. And it's probably uh, because the texture of the card is a little bit on the rougher side, it's probably better to um, Better to be using the bullet tip anyway, just in case we get any damage. A little bit under there, down the side. So I do enjoy fast coloring as well. Okay, maybe I'll put a little, I might go a little bit darker. Now, if you go over the top of your darker areas and extend it down a little bit more, um, the, the colors like to layer on each other and you can get that darker um, blend happening with just one color of blends as well. Okay, there's the light. This one.
Okay, and then just come back and go over the top of that area there. Just to soften that. It's always best to go over the top of what you've done and then extend it out just so that we keep those, um, the blend solvents moving around. Okay, and I'm just going to do these couple of little leaves down the bottom. Okay, and you are done. And what else? I'll do my tree. There, the easy and his hooves, whose hooves. Okay, like that. And then I've just got my blues left to do. And you know what? I'm not even going to be fancy with them. I am just going to use my dark color and do the baubles because they are that tiny. They don't require any um, fanciness. All right, done. Um, the pot. And then these guys will just slap a bit of color on wherever we fancy. Try and remember what I did. And I will do this one though. Oops. Oh, I've missed one. Oh, I'll just use you. There we go. Now this is bleeding a little bit because it's not ultra smooth. Fill in those little areas. Okay, now this is where the next fun bit comes in because I am going to grab, I've got a white pencil and a is that one black and black? Okay, so on one side, actually I'll do my white first. So I'm going to colour in any white spots with my white because they stand out the best. And then I can add a little bit of white to the side of the star. Maybe a few little bits on the tree. And yeah, it's probably a bit small, a little bit on the pot. And the handle. Okay, and then with the black, I'm just going to come in really, really gently and just Colour one side of him to add a little bit of shade. Just the edge. So if I keep it all on the left hand side, it won't look too odd. Okay, a little bit under there and then a little bit on the left hand side of the tree. And then I will do a little bit under each of these little areas in here just to make them a little bit darker. Okay, and a little bit on this side. Okay, so we've got something like that going on and then we can do our little bit of grounding underneath. And I'm just gonna do that in black as well. Because 
because there is no way I am going to fussy cut this. <laughs> I have seen some people fussy cutting, but 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 I've coloured him on coloured cardstock. I don't need to fussy cut him. So a little bit darker right underneath where his feet are and where these um, objects are hitting the ground. Okay, so that's my colouring. I don't think he's too bad on white. There's my there's my original uh, one on white. So I think that's pretty cool. So if you are looking to try something different, try colouring on a light coloured cardstock. I reckon if you um, you know if you were being really really cutesy, you could switch out your orange spots and your orange for. Um, a melon mambo maybe and did it on pink on the on the bubble bath um, card stock because it's nice and light like I said I will come back and color in maybe maybe I'll come back and try him on the green as well the lemon lime twist but some of my colors were a little bit uh, not happy but you know what doesn't mean I have to use the light I could just use uh, that's actually daffodil it looks orange because of the green um, I could actually do these two colors and be done with it so or I can change them up completely so we will see but uh, I would love to see if you've colored on card stock that is not white do come in and uh, share what you have uh, you know share what you've colored um, would love to see them and uh, don't be afraid to share any of your coloring in the blends and beyond group so okay that's it for me and uh, happy coloring everyone See you later.